Hey guys, this is Mike, also known as the One Fig Man. Uh, I'm here today on the Kapochi property, and what I had found is uh, another variety of fig that I thought was really interesting. I just wanted to show this real fast to you. I don't know the name or variety of this. Mr. Kapochi is uh, getting definitely a little bit older, but I wanted to share this with you. Um, this is a really interesting long fingered leaf. It's uh, one, two, three, four, five long fingers and two thumbs that are, that are heading backwards. So it's a seven node leaf, but all the, uh, all the uh, leaves are the same pattern on this. Very, very long fingered, um, very unique to me. And it's got some jaggering, jaggered edges on the leaf. But I just want to show this to you and take some video of this. We're gonna uh, take some of these cuttings and grow them out and try the fruit, see what it's like. And maybe next year, it's a variety that we could bring to market. But I want to take some video now while we're still here so we can, we can share this with you. So let's, uh, let's bring a quick close up of this and we'll get a better, better look at these leaf patterns and what's growing on in this tree. Okay, so this is the, uh, this is the tree, these long fingered leaves. So what we heard from our previous video with Mr. Capocci is he used to go back to Satse Frats, I think it was pronou pronounced, Satse Frats. And he used to bring back trees back in the day somewhere between, I would say, 1930 to 1960, 1970. He used to go back and forth bringing trees and plant them along his property. Uh, this past winter, there was, uh, this is 2019, so I would say 2018, <clears throat> December to uh, February 2019, we had uh, a really, really bad winter here, right on the border between Zone 6 and Zone 7. And we had, like, it was the coldest that, that I've been here in this area which was around minus 10 minus 15 degrees fahrenheit and we had significant amount of dieback what really brings interest to the capochi figs is that uh they they are withstanding this cold now this tree is probably a little bit old and you can see that there is significant dieback i mean look at this over there all over and even down in the center you can see some dieback but uh she just keeps coming another uh, another interesting fig and um, I, I should say another interesting fig tree. I have not seen any fruit on this tree yet. I have no, I know nothing about this fruit itself, but we're gonna take some cuttings and propagate it because I think these leaves are just real cool. And you can see there's no, no signs of FMV. Now, of course, once I take this tree and I put it in my, uh, in my garden, we'll have, we'll have FMV. I'm sure it'll transmit. Um, any, any any insect with a proboscis is going to puncture something that I do have FMV in and transmit it to this guy, I'm sure. But as for rootstock, we see no FMV. All right, guys. So thanks for joining for this short video. I just wanted to share this with you, and we will uh, we will talk about this tree once I get these cuttings rooted up. Thanks for joining.